Hi, my name is Vineet, and I'm going to introduce you to the LabVIEW programming environment. LabVIEW is a graphical programming environment, and a LabVIEW program is called a VI. VI stands for Virtual Instrument. And if we look over to the computer here, you can see I've already started with a blank, brand new VI. A VI is made up of these two main windows that are shown, this gray window here called the front panel, which is, serves as the user interface for the LabVIEW program. And then this white window here, which is the block diagram, which serves for the functional graphical code that, uh, that you create in LabVIEW. If I put these two windows side by side, I can show you a little bit about how they work. I can right click anywhere while this front panel is active, so anywhere on this gray window. And as I right click, you'll see I get the controls palette. And here's where I can drop down whatever user interface functions I'd like. So I can drop down knobs and buttons, different graphs and displays and really anything I'd like the user to be able to interact with and any way that I'd like to be able to visualize data from my program. I can also drop down text blocks, so a text or a string indicator, for example. And I can also resize and recolor any of these items to my liking. Now, if you notice, every time I drop down an item on the front panel, there's a corresponding terminal that appears on the block diagram. So if I double click on the string, for example, you can see it takes me to the block diagram that it's associated with the item on the block diagram that it's associated with. The block diagram, as we said before, is really where the graphical code resides. And now if I right click, I actually get a different set of functions that are available to me. These are programming functions like structures, numerical or mathematical functions, different Boolean or string functions. And if you notice, it's different than if I were to right click on the front panel. So I'll show you again. If I right click on the front panel, I get the controls palette. If I right click on the block diagram, I get the functions palette. Let's create a very simple LabVIEW program by deleting everything except the string box that I've created. And I'm going to move this a little bit higher on the front panel. And now when I right click on the block diagram, I'm actually going to go to the string palette and I'm going to drop down a string constant. So when I drop this down, this is where on the block diagram I can set up some string variable, for example. Now depending on where I hover over in the block diagram, you can see I get a, a different set of uh, cursor items. And so if I hover over the constant, I can actually wire the constant to this string box. And that's how I can move data from one item to the next in LabVIEW. Let's type in something as our string constant. So I'm going to type in hello world. And that's all I need to do to, to basically write a very simple LabVIEW program. If I were to hit run, the hello world constant data would then go across the wire over to the string display and it would appear on the front panel. The way that we run programs in LabVIEW is by using the run button. So I'm going to go up to the top left corner and you can see this run arrow here. If I hit run, that's my program. So very quickly I was able to develop a very simple LabVIEW application and that should give you a pretty brief introduction to how LabVIEW graphical programming works.